Hey guys, this is Techholic here, and today we are going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone 4, and iPhone 3GS running on 5.1. It's a tethered jailbreak, and all you need is Red Snow 0.9.10 B6 and the firmware for uh, iPod. I have it here for 5.1. Uh, both the links will be for both for if you want both the things I'll give the link below in the description section so uh, let's get started with the jailbreak uh, I'll show you that I'm running on uh, 5.1 I'll go to general about see you can see here I'm running on 5.1 so let's get started okay for that, I'll uh, uh, put my iPod into DFU mode. For some of you who don't know how to put your iPhone, your iPhone, your iPod into DFU mode, I'll show you. Uh, uh, keep holding the power button for three seconds, and uh, then hold the home button for ten seconds until the screen flashes. It flashes. Now release the uh, power button and keep holding the home button for like ten seconds. Okay, it's it's in recovery mode now, and uh, if you are connected to iTunes, it'll say iPod in recovery mode. So it's a good sign, and uh, we'll just skip that and uh, let's go to Red Snow. Okay, here we are. Unlike other jailbreaks, in this jailbreak you have to only and only just click the jailbreak button so let's get uh, just click it and before that I'll show you that it has a new feature that shows connected to iPod touch 4G and it is in DFU mode so it's a good sign and uh, we'll just click jailbreak okay it's just going through the processes and uh, it'll take some time waiting for reboot So here we are, it's saying preparing jailbreak data. Okay, it's patching kernel. Okay, so it's saying please select your option for iPod, uh, iPod 5.1. And I recommend you not to install custom bundles because it removes Cydia or it'll cause you some bugs or cra uh, it'll crash your iPod. So don't install it, and uh, if you want, you can. Uh, you have to install Cydia, and if you want, you can enable battery percentage and enable multitasking gestures. So I'll just click next. Okay. So uh, when it says uh, waiting for reboot after that screen, a disk will come on your iPod. So this is a do uh, uh, good sign, and uh, it'll uh, don't panic if this comes. So it's saying done and this screen will come the scrolling screen and uh, it's good okay, I'll just keep it aside I think it's moving so it's saying moving applications uh, this screen will come where you see a pineapple running uh, it's actually funny and uh, it's saying moving applications the, this will move all your applications like newsstand and everything else uh, into your jailbroken iPod so okay uh, and um, this also takes some time Okay, so it's saying done, but it's as you know, this is an untethered jailbreak. You have to boot your iPod. So if you click back from that screen, it'll, uh, it'll come up here. So just wait for the iPod to boot.
it's actually slow Guys, don't panic if this is slow. Uh, it's only because of my Wi-Fi. It's uh, it's really slow. But if you have a strong and a good Wi-Fi, it'll take only like 50 seconds to boot. Okay, it's gone. Moving applications gone. It's installing bundles, and it'll just boot in a couple of seconds. Okay, it's booting. Okay, it boot, it's it got bo uh, booted, and uh, okay, you'll see a white icon here, uh, and it'll be uh, called Syria. But if you click on it, it'll just crash because we didn't ju uh, boot it. So for this, you have now you have to click just boot. We'll click it, and now we have to keep. If we have to uh, uh, put the iPod in DFU mode, the same like I taught you keep holding the power button for 3 seconds and then hold the home button for 10 seconds until the screen flashes ok it flashed so we'll remove the power button and keep holding the home button ok so the screen will change and it will say waiting for reboot exploring the name of one and go through all processes after it says waiting for reboot you will see an, a pineapple logo on your iPod, so here it is. So, it's saying done now. If you want, you can detach your uh, iPod from the computer, but uh, for safety reasons, I'll not do that. Uh, and I recommend you guys to do the same. Okay, so it's rebooting. Okay, so your iPod is finally jailbroken on 5.1 untethered. Okay, the CD icon is back. So click on it and uh, so you see this uh, these options we are a hacker so I'll just click on it okay so finally here we are uh, it'll say iPod touch 4G iOS 5.1 Syria 1.1.5 so okay so this is the video about jailbreaking your iPod touch iPhone and iPhone 3GS to jailbreak it and uh, jailbreak it on untethered and uh, you have to do the boot thing just boot thing after your iPod is switched off or it it is low on battery and it gets switched off so this is the video guys thanks for watching and I hope this helps you and please